Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another vlog video for you guys. This is going to be vlog number 68 and today it is Monday, August 5th, 2024 and the time right now it is 9.19. And today we're going to be going to the Old Strathcona Antique Mall's third uh, parking lot sale of the year and I've been looking forward to this. And um, it's calling for rain today so um, I got my umbrella with me today. And I just had some McDonald's. Um, it actually just started like 20 minutes ago, so um, we're gonna be on our way there right now. And if you notice the little bit of blood there because I was shaving earlier this morning and I accidentally nicked and cut my face there and it was bleeding for a little while, so I had to put some ice on it and then it slowed down the bleeding, but I think it's, uh, yeah, it's basically stopped. So uh, yeah, I'm okay, so I'll be fine. Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get going and let's see what we'll find today. I've been looking forward to this. All right, guys, we're here. Um, it's not really raining right now. Um, I think I'm just going to leave my umbrella in the car for now, but I don't know. I think I'll just bring it with me just in case. All right, I'll just get me a reusable bag and then we'll be going around looking to see what each vendor has in store for us today. Look at all those vendors. So many vendors to go through. Been looking forward to this. Can't wait to see what we'll find today. So I started looking and there was lots of stuff that you could see from typewriters to movies to clothes to pictures, framed paintings and stuff like that. And there's even uh there was even some old uh clothing too. Yep. It's one of the things I love about going to these old to these events. I love going to them. Always find some of the coolest stuff. And there was an old typewriter, an old Remington typewriter there I found. And some old uh, cassette tapes I found too. And there was uh, one vendor that was selling some plants. At first I thought those were fake plants, but no, they were real plants. And each vendor had a variety of different things like that. One vendor was selling some beer bottles and stuff. And there were some VHS tapes as well. So many cool stuff. All right, guys, uh, we're done going through all the outdoor uh, vendors. It's some really cool stuff. Now we're going to go inside the Old Strathcona Antique Mall and see what we'll find in there. Not going to lie, I haven't been here since the last parking lot sale, which was back in June. All right, let's go in and see what we'll find inside. Once I entered the mall, there was always a new, th always new things to be seen each day you come to the store, except Mondays. The, the store is always closed on Monday. I found a Bare Naked Ladies cassette tape that I decided to take because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of Bare Naked Ladies, great Canadian band. And, um, yep, I kept searching. I found this cool little water thingy that looked like the Rare logo, kind of. It looked pretty cool. I was going to buy it, but I chose not to for some reason. And I found another typewriter, although I think those two typewriters were here last time I was here. Found some of these things, some pictures, some old magazines. And there's always a lot of cool stuff you can find here. And then there was another typewriter there, a Smith Corona typewriter that looked like from the 60s maybe. And then I went up the stairs, looked up the glass display of old video games. I found a copy of F-Zero GX for the GameCube, which is a pretty rare game, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. It must have been expensive. I didn't check. I should have checked. Maybe next time if I go and if it's still there, maybe I'll buy it. We'll see. And I went to this little vendor that has mostly horror movies on DVD and VHS. Went to this vendor that has some other DVDs and stuff. And then I went to the one vendor with the VHSs, and then eventually I decided I was ready to go. All right, guys, we are out of the Old Strathcon Antique Mall, and man, I've been there for quite a while. It's already, um, what time is it? It is uh, 12.07 right now. So, yeah, I've been here for over two hours. Yep, saw a lot of cool stuff. Mostly got a lot of physical media related stuff right here in this bag. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now, so I'll see you guys when we get home. Later. All right, guys, we're finally home. I've actually been home for a little while. On the way home, I picked up some Harvey's for lunch for me and my brother. And when I got home, I just took a little break from recording, and I had my lunch. 
and now I'm ready to record again. So, um, I bought two VHS tapes, three cassette tapes, five DVDs, and three Blu-rays while I was at the, uh, at the parking lot sale today, and I also bought, uh, I did buy a lighter for my brother, but I already gave it to him. It was a fancy electronic uh, lighter from the 80s that came with a case and instructions, which looked pretty cool, but I already gave it to him. Um, I did buy this cool uh, Dexter bobblehead from the TV show Dexter. And yeah, I got this for like, um, I think I'd say like uh, 10 $15 or something, something like that. I thought it was a good deal. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'll start with the, v the two VHS tapes that I got. Both of these are actually brand new sealed, actually. Uh, this first one we got here is Last Action Hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, this is from 1993, I believe, and I'm not sure when this VHS came out. I believe this might be from also from 1993 or maybe 1994. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a movie I do want to check out. It looks like a fun little action movie, and it's from the same director of uh, Predator and uh, the first Die Hard movie, John McTiernan, Tyron, or however you pronounce his last name. And uh, it's got a little coupon uh, sticker there. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna open up the plastic uh, probably after I finish this video. And the last VHS I got here is actually a movie I, I already own on Blu-ray, but I bought this because it was brand new sealed. And that is Memento. This uh, movie is from 2000, and this VHS is from 2001, and it was directed by Christopher Nolan. This was his second film after Following, which came out in '97. I actually still haven't watched that movie yet. Um, I've seen this movie before two years ago, and I remember really enjoying it. It's definitely an interesting film. I'd highly recommend this one if you haven't seen it. Definitely check it out. Guy Pierce, Carrie Ann Moss, and, uh, Joe Pantolino are all really great in this film. And, uh, yeah, just a great film. One of Christopher Nolan's best films. Now we'll go on to the cassette tapes that I bought. Uh, this first cassette tape I bought here is Chumbawamba Tub Thumper, which is an album from 1997, I believe. Yeah, 1997. Uh, that's a great album. The song Tub Thumping is probably the most notable song of this whole album. Uh, it's got a couple of other songs in here. Um, wait, what's... Uh, it comes with songs, uh, Tub Thumping, Amnesia, Drip, 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 The Big Issue, The Good Ship, Lifestyle, One by One, Outsider, Creepy Crawling, Mary, Mary, Small Town, I Want More, and Scapegoat. Uh, it's a great album. I enjoy this one, and I do like some of uh, Chumbawamba's songs. But uh, yeah, this is probably their most famous album, I believe. Uh, I got this for 10 bucks. Next up is one of my favorite bands and a great Canadian band, Bare Naked Ladies. And this is their album, Gordon, from 19... Um, I don't know if it says what year it is. What year this album originated from. Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I'll check later. It might be from 1993. I don't know. It's from the 90s, though. Um, it's a great album. I do like Bare Naked Ladies. And the songs on this album include Hello City, Enid, Grade 9, Brian Wilson, Be My Yoko, Yoko Ono, Wrap Your Arms Around Me, What a Good Boy, The King of Bedside Manor, uh, Box Set, I Love You, New Kid on the Block, Blame It on Me, The Flag, and If I Had a Million Dollars and Crazy. Um, yeah, great album. I do enjoy uh, Bare Naked Ladies. Great Canadian band. I got this for six bucks. And the last cassette tape I bought here is a Roy Orbison cassette tape. And that is uh, the great Roy Orbison all-time greatest hits. This is my third uh, Roy Orbison cassette tape that I have. And this cassette compilation was released in 1986 and has... Um, a lot of his famous songs, which include 
Only the Lonely, Crying, Running Scared, Falling, Leah, Green Baby, Uptown, Blue Angel, Working for the Man, Ooby Dooby, Oh Pretty Woman, It's Over, Mean Woman Blues, Claudette, In Dreams, Blue Bayou, I'm Hurting, Candyman, and Lana. And uh, it's a pretty nice uh, little compilation. I think this cassette was released one year before Roy Orbison passed away in... I think it was 1987 when he passed away, or was it 1988? I don't remember. But it came out not long before he passed away, as far as I know. Uh, next up to the DVDs that I got here, this first one I got here is Shine. Uh, this movie's from 1996, and this DVD, I believe, is from 1998, I would assume. This is one of the early uh, DVDs, as you can tell. It's got the snapper case. I uh, haven't watched this one, but I hear great things about it. And I know uh, Jeffrey Rush won the Academy Award for Best Actor in this movie. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I'll definitely sit down and give this one a watch at some point. I hear it's a really good movie. Next up is Ghost of the Abyss, which is a documentary about the Titanic which was directed by uh, James Cameron and was narrated by the late Bill Paxton. Um, there's actually two versions of this. There's the theatrical version, which is only 60 minutes, and the other one's uh, 90 minutes. I believe this DVD is from... Uh, uh, it doesn't say. I think this is from 2003, I believe. I can't remember. I'll look it up later. Um... I found this for, got the, I got this for like a dollar. I figured why not. Looks like a pretty good documentary. Next up is Bug. This uh, movie is from 2006 and I believe this DVD is from 2007. And it's directed by the late William Friedkin. Or Friedkin. Yeah, William Friedkin, that's how you pronounce his name. I keep saying Friedkin, but it's Friedkin. I uh, haven't watched this one, but I do want to check it out. I believe this might have gotten an Arrow video release or something a while ago. I'm not sure. I'll probably just keep this DVD as a placeholder. But, uh, yeah. The next DVD we got here is The Motorcycle Diaries from 2004. This DVD is from 2005. Haven't seen this one, but it looks like an interesting film. And I saw this one at one of the vendors that was selling it. And I decided, why not? And I picked it up. <clears throat> uh, and the last DVD I got here is a pretty hard to find DVD. And that is Aqua Teen Hunger Force, colon movie film for theaters for DVD. Uh, this movie came out in 2007. Um, I don't really watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force all the time. I watch it sometimes, and it's a pretty funny show. I've never actually seen this movie, but I saw this in the store for like $10. I'm like, ah, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Um, yeah, and I know there's another Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie that I'll probably check out one day. But I got this one for 10 bucks. You can't beat that. Plus, it's a pretty hard to find DVD as well. And lastly, the Blu-rays that I got. The first, the first Blu-ray I got here is a childhood classic of mine. Well, one of my ch favorite movies from, from when I was a kid. And that's Monsters, Inc. This movie is from 2001 and this Blu-ray is from 2013. Uh, classic movie. I've seen this movie countless times as a kid. And the part when they go to the Himalayas. Welcome to the Himalayas! That part always cracked me up when I was a kid. It always did. <laughs> But I'm very happy to have this on Blu-ray. Uh, next up is Deadpool 2, which comes with the Super Duper Cut. This uh, movie is from 2018, and this Blu-ray is also from uh, 2018. I remember going to see this one on the opening weekend with one of my friends, and I had a lot of fun time seeing it in theaters, and it was it was just an awesome experience. I don't have the first Deadpool movie on Blu-ray, but I'll get that one one day. But right now, I'll just keep the second one. I recently went to go see the new Deadpool movie. Eh, it was okay. I wasn't really a fan of it, to be honest. But, yeah, I'm very happy to have this one. I got this for, like, uh, I think I, I paid, like, $5 for it. I don't know. I got it the same, from the same vendor where I got uh, Monsters, Inc. But I'm very happy to have this. I'll definitely get the, uh, the first movie at some point. And the last Blu-ray I bought here is The Devil Wears Prida, which is, uh, this movie is from 2006. 
And this Blu-ray is also from 2006, I believe. Or maybe 2007, I'm not sure. Haven't watched this movie, but I hear great things about it. And this is a movie I do want to check out. So I went ahead and picked it up. So, uh, yeah, I, I picked it up. And uh, that's it. Those are the stuff I got from the uh, parking lot sale. And I guess I'm going to end the video right here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to leave a like, comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and share the video with your friends. And, uh, yeah, guys, more uh, more videos will be coming out soon. And I will be going to the th fourth and final uh, parking lot sale of 2024 in September. I'm looking forward to that one. It's coming up on September 2nd. But anyways, until then, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.